Hello guys, today we're going to talk about uh, electrate, electrate condenser microphones, also known as capsule, capsule mic, mics. Yeah, I think I got this lot, 30 pieces, 30 pieces for 868 on Amazon. Uh, let's see if we can find a data sheet for it. So it's 6050. So, uh, microphone. 6050 electret oops condenser condenser data so it's a 6050 pdf all right this looks like this one let's have a look at it Okay, so max up voltage is 10 volts. And what is the the resistance? So, okay, those have to be powered. Okay, because there is a... There is a FET inside. Okay, perfect. This is all you need to make a circuit. That's so... What's so great about data sheets is that you... They give you examples, uh, it's very easy. Okay. Okay, so Vs is your uh, input voltage, so it has to be less than 10 volt. I'm gonna do a circuit using a 9 volt battery, so 9 volt is fine. RL, so RL, is, I guess, to set the bias on the FET. So RL, they say 2.2K ohm, 2.2K ohm, and then you have the capacitor before the output to get rid of the DC, which is one, uh, one microfarad. Okay, so that's all you need. Okay, so let's make a circuit. But I have to change cameras so I'll see you around. So what does the circuit look like? Uh, so you have the so that's your mic with the fat inside so that's your mic okay so that's gonna be that's gonna be your output here that's your cap and you have the vs here and here you have resistance RL and here you have the let's get the ground so this is 2.2 K ohm C is 1 mic 1 micro farad and Vs is going to be 9 volt but you can use uh, whatever you want as long as you're under as long as you're under 10 volts, it's fine. Yeah, I couldn't find my black marker. So I'm very sorry. I hope you can see. Okay. All right, so let's go into building the circuit. Okay. Actually, I already did build the circuit. Can you see? Yeah, it's not the greatest. Let me bring the camera down. So, so this is the. Oh, uh, okay. So this is the plus, plus the the red stuff. So I connected them together. This is the minus channel here, minus channel connected together. Uh, these two headers is where I'm gonna put the, the VS and the ground. So this is this is the ground, this is uh, VS when I connect the, the nine volt the nine volt battery. So this one, this resistor is the uh, RL. So that's the 
2.2 k k ohm 2.2 k ohm we have your we have the uh, microphone right here so the positive side is on the top and the negative side negative side is at the bottom and i put two jumpers to go on the other, the other side this is the capacitor okay so this is your uh, one microfarad capacitor and i put a header before the capacitor and after the capacitor okay so uh, before the capacitor we should see some dc and after we should not see any dc and then on the negative terminal of the mic i put a jumper to my uh, negative side and here is another header so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to connect the battery on this side and i'm going to connect the scope on that side okay so let's connect the battery here is the battery so i'm just going to connect it i use crocodiles so positive here negative here okay so let's put the battery out of here okay so that's our circuit now let's bring the scope so that's the scope i use that comes from amazon it's probably 20 i think it's 20 bucks okay it's not the greatest but it's great for videos like this so i'm gonna uh, connect my probe to Hold on. So the negative is here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Hold on. Not that easy. Hold on. Negative here, positive. So first I'm going to look at the, the signal before the capacitor. Okay. So let's yeah i need to fire it up yep okay so that's my power that's also a nine volt battery okay it's too many wires okay so i'm just gonna bring if he wants to cooperate uh, I hope you see okay. I'm gonna try not to move. Okay, so uh, let me put the coupling to DC so we can see the DC. And the DC here is uh, off the chart. So I need to change my, uh, my volt gear. Right now it's at 100, 100 millivolts. That's way too small, so let me change that with this setting here so now i'm at one volt still too big so let me change the sensitivity so you see it's one volt right now so i'm going to change to two volts and five volt so five volt here the five volt that you see here is basically the if you look at the vertical axis, it's uh, 5 volt is how much you get looking at one subdivision. That is one grid, one grid cell. So, uh, hold on, this is too big. Okay, I'm going to point with this guy. So this is 0, this is 5, this is 10, this is 15. So here we are at about it says uh, 7.5 volts on this size the dc 7.5 volt here is ac there's nothing okay so here so basically here we we have the dc but of course if you tap here nothing is going to show it's just the voltage difference would be too small Nothing shows, so we we're, we're gonna change the coupling. We're gonna go to AC coupling. Hold on. 
yeah so right now I'm, i mean we can try let's see let's go to ac coupling and let's see if we can get the signal from the microphone but we need to get this thing down the five volt is way too high so two volt one volt and let's change the sensitivity here 100 millivolt you should be able to start getting stuff so let me tap on it i think the best way is to whistle i think i'm gonna hold it let me see if i can whistle on it let me go even higher on the sensitivity let's go to 10 millivolts so yeah i did a hold so it stopped so you can see that you get you pick up the signal from the the mic okay so now we have no dc we have no dc but as you can see i'm talking and we are picking up we are picking up i mean if i do ac coupling it should be the same thing we are picking up okay so i'm going to keep the dc coupling since we don't have any dc anyway so let, let me talk into it and see what kind of voltage we get what kind of peak to peak voltage we get so right now i'm at uh, 10 millivolts per division on the uh, vertical uh, axis so if i'm talking like this if i'm talking like this i'm getting probably 20 20 millivolt peak to peak yeah so with uh, this kind of uh, voltage 20 millivolts peak to peak there's not much you can do with it so you need to amplify it maybe with a i don't know something uh, like a common common emitter amplifier and then you should be able to do something with it but here at this video this is just to show you how to how to use a elect an electret condenser microphone that's it i didn't want to i didn't want the video to get too long if i present also a an amplifier for it so i'm gonna stop here please like comment subscribe and i will make more videos so i'll see you around bye